Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Mega Man Rock and Roll, the blind run. Okay, so for today's video, we are going to switch back to Roll. I kind of want to go after this one, which I forget what the name was, actually. Tideman. I should have checked earlier because I thought this one was wind-based, and so I thought either sandstorms or maybe missiles would work well. I was wrong. I was horribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> okay! I like these guys. The enemy designs here are rather nice. Not what I was expecting. Okay. So the empty ones, they're fine to shoot. The not empty ones, not so much. Oh, we have this gimmick again. And it goes away if you pause. Okay. Oh. No pun intended. I just noticed what letter it was when I said that. Okay. Oh, well, uh, stop saying oh. <laughs> I swear, that was not intended. Man, yeah, the enemies here just look really cool. Oh, I want that, but I, I know the tragic way this ends. Okay, we actually got out. Sooner or later, there's going to be an up and down type enemy, and I will pay for my hubris. Wow, it's getting dark. Uh, yeah, I knew that wasn't really a life refill. It had to be getting dark for a reason. That's a good effect, though. Oh, and it does become a life pickup afterwards. Nice. Oh. Okay. Okay, you do get some light to see by. Do you stay open, or do you close up? You close up after a while. And you also do actually do damage. Okay. Alright. Into the darkness.
It's an interesting gimmick. And it also just really drives home the point of how creepy the deep sea really is. Deep ocean type stuff is just terrifying, honestly. Okay, for a moment I thought those were maybe going to be the up-and-down enemies. Well, they certainly worked. Okay, so let's try and not have that happen this time. Or we'll just die a different way. There we go. And of course, it was right at the boss gate. Well, we don't have a lot of life to learn this guy's patterns just yet. Nice entrance. I'm gonna guess I don't really have anything you care about. Died before I could really see. Okay, so Dragon Breath does nothing underwater. Okay, yeah, you're not impressed by that. You don't seem to like Blast Missile, though. And it gets rid of your Bubble Shield, too. I think we finally might have found a weakness. Alright. So yeah, it looks like that's a fight where you kind of have to pay a lot of attention to all the fish he summons. That's going to be a bit of a thing. But overall, he doesn't look like he's going to be too terribly bad. You have a lot of maneuverability because of all the water jumps. So that's actually going to help a lot. You got Shield Bubble. Okay, and so you can use it to float. Interesting. I 
kind of wish we could have seen it used against, like, projectiles from enemies to see how well it works against that. If it just, like, maybe blocks one shot and then pops, or what. But, uh, it is nice to go ahead and have the shield weapon of the game anyway. So, five down, three to go. So that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. I mean, we are getting more and more weapons, so we are bound to start finding some weaknesses here.